Welcome once again, all who dare to enter the house. We are here for the Visual Vapor Reviews Halloween Special. Welcome once again to this wonderful place. A place of mystery, clouds, fog, and reviews. We are going to be taking a re-review -re of Overtime from use of the Athena Squonk by Geek Vape. I hope you'll enjoy me on this wonderful quest as we unravel the mysteries of the Greek goddess Athena, along with some of our new flavor to boot. Hey guys, so, <laughs> hope you liked the intro, I've been, I just whipped that up real quick, I was thinking about doing it for a while. I recently rebuilt the coils on this thing, and I've been vaping on it for a solid week straight. So, I wanted to give you guys my la at length impression of this little beauty, because it really throws a curveball. So, even if you guys are just starting out with, um with building for review for your um, RDAs and whatnot this is an RSA rebuildable squawk atomizer that brings a new dynamic to what's going on with it so basically something to note um, if you're just starting out building and stuff like that this is a great little mod it's easy to install coils on and it really puts out some big whoppers and the best part is you don't have to worry about leaking. So if you guys are really curious about more and to learn more about this um, squonk box from Geek Vape, be sure to go back a few videos and look for the title of the Athena Squonk Box. So oh, definitely be sure to check that out. So to use this little beauty, as you well know, there's no chipsets, no screens, no nothing. It's just a mechanical box mod with a little squonk hole and a sliding lock mechanism underneath the fire switch right here see, and then fire switch here really simple to use instant flavor instant ramp up time and of course you have your 18650 battery along with your squonk juice bottle at the bottom I'm vaping on peach rings people peach rings is an amazing little flavor that a friend that I got for a friend of mine his name's Austin he got uh, he gave me, gave me some because I was running out I have a little bit to hopefully get me through tilt the day after tomorrow, Friday. So I figured I'd do this Halloween special because I don't really do that much and I figured what better way to open Halloween up before I go to work than with a nice little vape video with a Halloween special. There's some starter clouds for the wake up call. Mm. That flavor is amazing. I love the peach that comes off this. Ironically enough, I have been able to va vape on this for the past 10 hits without squonking once. Meaning I haven't had to push the little bottle if you guys don't know what squonking is. That's okay. There's a little bit of a uh, link in... Uh, well, there's a little bit talking about it in previous videos. You'll hear me explain it multiple times leading up to the video review of this little beauty. So... Yeah, definitely be sure to check it out if you guys don't know. So let's get into the impressions and talking about what's been, how well it's performed in the past week or so. Hold on, my airflow is not all the way open. <laughs> I like mine wide open. All right, so I've used this for about two weeks since my video review, I believe, maybe one. I'm not 100 percent sure. I haven't seen. I haven't checked how long ago my video was. But I, in all that time between the past video of this this squonker and now, I have been testing it, checking its limits. I have dual alien coils in here, reading at a 0.33 ohm resistance. Um, it's a really good build. I really like it. It's definitely flavorful, and I've had it in here for, like I said, about two weeks. So I've changed out the cotton twice. Well, not really changed it. I put it in the first time when I first got it, and then I changed it out once. So that's a little more accurate. And in all that time it's lasted me, I haven't really had to worry about it. But the first time I put in that cotton, I got something along these, these lines. Tiny, right? Well, after I changed the cotton out, 
because before when I had the cotton before, when I got those tiny clouds, I would have to blow down and pull in really multiple times, and it would just really be annoying just to get any vapor. So now that I've got some uh, some thicker, I mean thinner amounts of cotton, I'm just trying to like experiment until I get it right. But let's show you guys what it can do now. Dang. Let's try and get it a better, um, better, um, ooh, there, she's a little dry, that's what it was. That's why I coughed. I'm gonna squonk her a couple times. There we go. There we go. This thing really rips for such a tiny little mod. I mean, look at this. Compared to my hand, it only comes up to a little bit past my fingers. It's tiny, guys. It really doesn't need that much power, and it la and the battery lasts all day. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do a couple of tricks. I haven't really done any tricks on this thing since I've gotten it. But I'm really impressed with the flavor. The peach rings is really strong. It comes off really easy. In fact, I'm going to put this down for just a second. See, I'm going to show you guys a comparison between my Tobe Addy and this one. And the Athena. So, as you guys know, the Avenger. Wonderful 234 watt. Tobe Addy included with a 0.34 ohm regular wrap, single wrap coil. So there are two coils in here, yes. But there, it's just one coil wrapped around in um, one wire wrapped around into coils rather than multiple pattern wraps like the alien coils. So we've got this at 60 watts. Let's see what she does. Hold up. The flavor's a little strong. I don't want to cough on this one if I can help it. Not bad. Plus, it's still the morning and I just woke up, so let's see if I can get a bigger cloud off this. Eh, a little bit bigger. Definitely bigger. So the Athena Squonk Box is putting off more clouds than the Toe Baddie. And that's just because of the coils I got in there, and plus how early it is in the morning. <laughs> so I'm going to put this back on the charger over here. Let that sit for a minute. There we go. But, yeah, so my impression of this is it's a really good, really durable vape. It really brings out a nice pattern in the um, back panel and front panel. I really like that, along with the insignia, so you can always line up where you're facing. You can have the Athena logo facing you or facing away, and that's mainly because it has notches in it that lock it into place so it's not spinning around on you when you're trying to take your tank off. So that works really well, and I'm very, very happy with it. I think that I'd highly recommend this for anyone who's just getting into RDAs and rebuildables because this makes it a lot easier. You don't have to worry about finding your bottle of juice all the time. It's right there with you. And you only have, and the be, another good part about it is it's really simple to build. I think even a beginner could build on this thing. And if you don't, if you don't feel like building, you can, um, usually just build, um, grab those pre-built coils that you get from Get them from Geek Vape that are at Smoker's Choice or at many different vape shops. They have a lot of pre-built coils that they made and that they have sold there for about 20 bucks, roughly. Not that bad. That, but you get a ton of coils, and most coils in an RDA will last you months on end before you actually have to change them out. But. All in all, I love the airflow at the top. I've never had leaking problems with this in all the time that I've used it unless I physically tilt it upside down, and not many people are going to do that. But the flavor, the flavor, the flavor. Let me have another vape real quick. This thing is chucking, chucking clouds. It's just... I can't get enough of it. I love it. The flavor is perfect. The the airflow is perfect. It goes down underneath and around those coils and back up from both sides. So it's going down and up. So it just the flavor is just on point, guys. I'd give it an A, an A plus even, just because of how rich the flavor comes off. And hopefully 
I'm going to have some new flavors to review, maybe some new products as well. So be looking forward to that. Maybe I'll get um, the sub box kit, which is a kit that for, is from Rite Aid. It's one of the first mod kits made available in public stores rather than vape shop, not just vape shops. It's a, I believe, a 30 to 50 or 50 watt mod. It comes with a sub ohm tank, and I think it's around fifty dollars I'm not sure what I'm, if I'm gonna get it but it looks like a pretty good mod and depending on what goes on with it I may keep it as a little uh, um, after piece because it's a built-in battery but I'm not sure yet I'm not 100% sure <laughs> it all depends but and maybe I'll have a blast from the past for you guys too along with um, the vape and plus um, pen who knows that was my first real vape so to speak but not my first huge cloud chucking it was just my first vape in general so you never know it all depends on what comes around so that about wraps it up for these videos um, for today I'm going to be going to work soon so I want to relax a little bit before I have to go but I'm really glad I could show you this. Definitely recommend it. The Athena Squonk Box from Geek Vape. Definitely be sure to pick it up. You can find them at, at um, Smoker's Choice up in Concord on Loudoun Road. And you can also find them online at geekvape.com. So, until next time, as always, I'm your host, Michael Cobb. And I am really, really happy I was able to do this. But beware, for scare is in the air with Halloween. So have a happy Halloween, all, and to all, a scary night.